hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video we discussed about uh, the parallelogram law of vector addition the basic idea the basic concept behind that and uh, we just discussed the basic concept so like we did in the triangle law of vector addition we will uh, discuss the mathematical analysis of parallelogram law to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. So according to the parallelogram law of vector addition, if we have two vectors, okay, let me draw them. Okay, P vector and Q vector. Okay, now we have to perform some shifting techniques to shift these two vectors laterally in order to form a parallelogram. So, what we'll do, we'll shift this Q vector sidewise to the left q vector and we'll shift this p vector to the top to form a parallelogram okay okay this is the parallelogram this is p vector so according to the parallelogram law of vector addition if the two vectors quantities acting at a particular point they are represented by the adjacent sides of a parallelogram as here p vector and q vector they are the two vector quantities who, which are representing the adjacent side of this parallelogram then the resultant vector is the diagonal passing through that point this is the resultant vector so let us do some naming here okay this is let's say o this is a this is b this is c and let us extend this okay this becomes let's say d okay so this angle here is let's say alpha and this angle be theta okay this is the resultant vector okay so if we consider the triangle OCD OCD okay OCD it will be a right angle triangle because this is 90 degree this triangle okay o c d then this is a right angle triangle so we can apply pythagoras theorem the same technique as we did in the uh, triangle law of vector addition so oc square the hypotenuse square will be simply od square plus cd square okay now here oc is equal to r 
OA is equal to P OD is equal to OA plus AD AD is basically Q cos theta okay AD is Q cos theta here A C T this is theta this is Q so AD will be Q cos theta cos theta is based by hypotenuse which is AD by AC which is AD by Q so AD will be Q cos theta and simply CD will be Q sin theta same thing as in triangle law of vector addition CD is Q sin theta so if we substitute these values here it will become something like this okay so OC square it will become R square OD is OA plus AD OD is OA plus AD OA is P AD is Q cos theta so it will be P plus Q cos theta whole square plus CD is Q sin theta whole square so if we open them the brackets it will become P square plus Q square cos square theta plus 2 PQ cos theta simple A square plus B square plus 2AB and this will be plus Q square sin square theta ok then q square cos square theta q square sin square theta will take q square common so it will become p square plus q square cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 p q cos theta this will become 1 sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so it will be p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta which is r square so r will be p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta whole root over okay this is the magnitude of R okay this is the magnitude similarly same thing as we did in the triangle law of vector addition we will represent the direction of the resultant R in terms of the tan of the angle which it makes with the horizontal axis so tan alpha is perpendicular by base which is CD by OD which is CD by OA plus AD which is CD is Q sin theta by OA is P plus Q cos theta okay this is the tan alpha the angle the direction of the resultant okay this is the direction so the same thing the same values uh, mathematical expressions we got in case of triangle law of uh, vector addition here also the same concept in the same way we we just uh, did all of this to get the magnitude and the direction the same formula 
the same formula for magnitude of the resultant, the same formula for the direction of the resultant. So it means that whether you apply triangle law or parallelogram law, you will get the same result. It's just two way of looking at the same thing. Okay, so this is the mathematical analysis of parallelogram law of vector addition. Okay. So we just uh, calculated the magnitude of the resultant and the direction of the resultant from both uh, the triangle law of vector addition and the parallelogram law of vector addition and we got these values okay now we have to determine the values of r and tan alpha for different values of theta where theta is the angle between the two vectors p vector and q vector <coughs> okay theta is the angle between p vector and q vector alpha is the angle which the resultant r this makes with the horizontal axis so case one is when both the vectors are in the same direction that is when theta is equal to 0 degree the angle between p vector and q vector is 0 ok both the vectors are in the same direction in that case the value of r will be p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos 0 degree cos 0 is 1 we know so it should be simply p square plus q square plus 2 pq which is simply p plus q whole square root over which is p plus q r is p plus q the sum of the magnitude of the two vectors that are there the tan of the angle of the resultant vector which will be q sin 0 degree by p plus q cos 0 degree sin 0 degree is 0 we know so this will all be 0 ok so alpha will also be tan inverse of 0 it will also be 0 degree the angle of the resultant with the horizontal axis will also be 0 so r is p plus q and alpha is 0 degree this is the first case when the angle between p and q is 0 now suppose this angle is 90 degree they are at right angles ok so in that case this will become cos 90 degree cos 90 degree is 0 so this will be 0 it will be p square plus q square root over ok p square plus q square root over r and uh, alpha the tan alpha that will be q sin 90 degree by p plus q cos 90 degree ok now sin 90 degree is 1 so it will be q into 1 cos 90 degree is 0 it will be p plus q into 0 ok so it will be simply q by p tan alpha is q by p and alpha is tan inverse of q by p 
okay next is when both uh, the vectors p and q they are in the opposite direction that is theta is 180 degree So this will become cos 180 degree, cos 180 degree is minus 1, so it will become minus 2 pq, which is simply p minus q whole square root over, which is simply p minus q, r is p minus q. And here in place of theta, we will have 180 degree 180 degree here also 180 degree now we know sin 180 degree is 0 so this will all be become 0 no matter what this is minus 1 become 0 ok so the value of alpha tan alpha will be 0 and alpha will also be 0 so we discussed the values of r and alpha for three cases theta is 0 degree when they are in the same direction the two vectors theta is 90 degree when the two vectors p vector and q vector are at right angles and theta is 180 degree when they are in the opposite direction okay so this is the same for both the triangle and parallelogram law of vector addition. Okay.